Hey there guys, Silicat2 here, welcome back for more Lama Lana. In the last episode, we got the flare gun and the feather. We do not apparently have any uh, flares though, which is a bit of a problem because there is an item that we need some flares to get. So, uh, let's see if we can buy some actually. Might be able to buy a few at one of these shops. Nope. Yay, 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 yay. Mamma mia. We are not going to be able to get this thing that we want, sorry. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay, next place that we're going is over here. Uh, first, you uh, want to do the bits. This isn't really necessary, but I'm showing it off for the sake of a puzzle later, because... It's... this is Lana Lana. The puzzles are hard. Okay? What you want to do is... What you want to do is get up there and stand on that pressure pad thing. And that reads 62. Lamisa weighs 62 kilograms. And that's an important number. You'll want to remember that. Anyway, welcome to the back side of Area 2. This is the Giant's Graveyard. This is the place where all those um, giants with no names were just kind of thrown away in the ice. Kind of a shame, really. Anyway, poetry aside, we want to go up here. Do a double jump up to this place. Make sure these bats don't kill us. These backside bats are annoying. Anyway, we want to disappear the floor. Oops. Makes it easier to get back up there. <laughs> And then put a weight on this pedestal, which drops the other ice block. Mew is the name of the nameless one, the one who climbs to the sky. Okay. This is the graveyard of the giants, the cemetery of the sorrow-filled giants. And we get the cartridge for a uh, Contra right off the bat, which is very nice. Contra is used in a ROM combo that pretty much uh, makes this game as hard as Contra. <laughs> you die in one hit, pretty much. Ow. Yeah, with how much I'm getting hit, I'm not using that ROM combo anytime soon. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay. Okay, okay. The giant says, my eyes are not blind. Well, why don't we go make them blind just so we can be cruel to this dead guy? Hey, what do you know? We solved the puzzle by being cruel to a dead guy.
I am not exactly sure what that trigger uh, triggered, but as you can see, there are some blocks here. That area goes into an area we'll be going to later. As you can see, we're already making pretty heavy use of our double jump here. i do that. Which, I believe, clears a barrier up here for us. Ow. And then using the birth seal there opens up the path to... The gauntlet! This uh, marginally increases our attacking speed. It's a useful item, I guess. Mm, what, we, what I came down here to get was the Sky Jaguar ROM. It's useless. I'm just collecting stuff. <laughs> Anyway, we also activated an elevator! Dot! Oh, so you dot! Can get something for those red and blue things. Ah! What are you freaking out like crazy over here? Anyway, killing the wizard uh, gets you the map for this area. But as you can see, it is. Pretty hard to get to, like, actually no, it's not all that hard, I'm just gonna... Uh, we got the map for this area. That's, uh... There's actually one more thing we can do here. It's not at all mandatory. In fact, I highly recommend you do not do it unless you are going for 100% completion, but... I'm just going to be showing it off since I have more than enough coins to get it and stuff. I'm just sucking horribly right now. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, stuff. Uh, and more stuff. And wizard dude. Anyway, we're gonna push that block and then kill this thing. That makes this block fall down so we can do I'm not doing well in the getting hit by enemies department, am I? Anyway, shop. Fake silver shield. Does nothing. Okay? Now let's go to the actual real content of this episode, which is defeating the Area 4 boss. Now we have the feather, it should be a piece of cake! Um... Oh, pfft, uh, I set my, uh... I set my weapon buttons to Z and X, so I keep pressing space thinking it'll do something and it doesn't because I am an idiot. Anyway, we want to save real quick and restart with the Hey there, everyone! Silly cat through here! Welcome back from old 
Oh, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> it's gonna be a running gag with me from now on, isn't it? Uh, whoops. <laughs> Seriously, I have no idea what I was thinking when I recorded that. <laughs> it's so crazy. And ouch. Alright, so I'm probably not doing this in the best possible order, but I am doing this in a order, so no complaints, right? <clears throat> Anyway, the things that we want to do here are to uh, get up here and not get hit by a surprise fish. Instead we- <laughs> Get hit by that instead. <laughs> I'm freaking out with some Chugga Conroy here. What's up with that? Uh, stuff we did in an earlier episode unveils the Ankh. You want to make sure you have a lot of shurikens and a feather and a whole bunch of life jewels for this fight. Because we are fighting Bahamut. Not the dragon guy from Final Fantasy. Instead we are fighting some crazy fish thing. No, not that fish thing. That fish thing. The water here... Uh, takes away your hit points, even if you have the scale sphere. As far as I know, this guy cannot be hit very well by your sub weapons, so you want to just uh, main weapons, excuse me. So you want to just uh... oops. This guy is annoying. And it's very easy to die to him if you. Uh mess up with the boat. Ow. In fact, I'm probably going to die to him right now. If he decides you're going into water, you're going into water. Not much you can do about that. I hope I've survived this. Oh, I missed! What? 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 This is not going well at all, is it? Uh, you can change the speed of the boat by um, standing toward the front or back of it. That doesn't change its left and right movement, it only changes its speed. When he launches this attack, that's your chance to get as many shurikens into him as possible. I'm probably going to lose this fight. No! I got him! Awesome! <laughs> I got him! Yeah! And he, we just float on past his dead body. And whoa, disco ep epileptic spaz town thingy. Where is this taking us? I see. Well, now we're back on the surface. I say it's about time we uh, end this episode off. Uh, so. If you like this part, subscribe to my videos, big yellow button up top, give me a thumbs up down below this video, be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2, I'll be talking to you later in the next episode. Do I have flares? I still do not have flares. Okay, first thing I will be getting in the next episode, flares. Gotta remember that. Bye for now.